Hello, welcome to another Gone Mind 101, our regular series of short presentations giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine CRM. And in this one, I'm going to cover Universal Search. Universal Search is Goldmine's really comprehensive search uh, feature functionality that allows you to search across multiple types of records and fields in Goldmine simultaneously. So unlike traditional search methods, for example, typically the contact search center that might require you to look in, well, initially separate areas of contacts or pending history, opportunities and so on. Universal Search provides a, a really sort of holistic view of all related information from a single search interface, a single search box that gives you, it also it nicely gives you a weighting score on the data it finds, I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, and it can search for data, basically can search for data beyond what the contact search center can do in Goldmine. So hello, I'm Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems, we're a specialist CRM solutions provider who help out many small, mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing, and customer service through the use of simple and affordable solutions like Goldmine. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got a question on anything I'm going, going through, uh, please pop that into the question box on your meeting control panel, and I'll do my best to answer that at the end after I've shown you a, a brief little demo of the universal search feature. So we're a, we're a longstanding provider of Goldmine, been doing it a long, long time, many, many years. And as a leading CRM solution provider, we actually offer various different CRM solutions, not just Goldmine. And the key benefit as a multi-solution provider is the ability to match different clients' needs to the ideal system, you know, based on their size and what they want to do and their budget and, and so on. And with experience across major uh, CRM solutions, our team has got the real know-how to guide you through selecting the best software and customizing it to your requirements. But as regards Goldmine, we're a one-stop shop. Uh, we provide any service around Goldmine, upgrades, implementation, training, add-ons, and ongoing help desk support as well. All right, then let's go into universal search which you will find in the top left corner. If it's been set up, I'll cover the setup um, later on, but you'll find the universal search box right up there in the top left-hand corner. So you can type in a word or phrase there, click on go, and that will fire up the universal search tab. You can actually have it as a floating window if you want to. I've got it here as a tab on my, on my desktop. And as you can see, it's got some it's got the, the, the columns, the fields that I've selected, but a nice ranking there, a weighting based on the records and the, the, rep, the types of records it's found and the relevance of that, of what it's found to the word or phrase I'm looking for. So that's basically what it's going to look like initially, but deliberately you can now drill down. You can fine tune your search. So over on the right hand corner here, there's a little advanced checkbox. If I tick that, it exposes a few more options for me. So up here in this top section here, I can see, you can see grayed out all of the different record types that typically we're searching through um, with, the, with the universal search feature. And you can see some areas there that you normally wouldn't, well, you wouldn't be able to find a data you wouldn't be able to find using groups, filters, or the contact search center like knowledge base, for example, in conjunction with other other uh, record types. So you can select um, the various uh, record types that you want. And then over on the right hand side, you can drill down even further on the 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 kind of search mechanisms and search options that we've got on top of what we've just looked for. So if I click on options there, up comes a Windows dialog box with a few tabs running across the top there. On the general tab, that's where we can um, determine whether our 
universal search is the default search in that top left hand corner rather than doing a, a contact search. I've got the universal search there um, and a few algorithms as well as regards uh, the mechanism it goes through. We can also search for documents as well. So are you using the links tab? Have you got attached files to contact records? Very, a very powerful way. And not many CRM systems can do this, by the way. Any attached file, Word files, typically um, Excel files attached to a client record, we can search through those as well. Grid, fairly self-explanatory. The columns we're displaying and the sort sequence. Search filters allows you to allows you to deploy on top of the universal search an additional search criteria. Very straightforward if you're familiar with um, SQL, the SQL query builder, a uh, very simple little wizard that will go, go through um, creating additional search, addi a, an additional search layer on top of this. Um, very straightforward to add on those, those filters. You can obviously use um, filters from other users as well um, to, as I say, just to drill down further. And then on the advanced tab, um, a little bit more information on the indexing. You don't really need to be concerned with that as a user. That's normally um, defined by, by your administrator. So a very straightforward way of finding basically any information. There's a little further option down there. That's where if we'd uh, used um, uh, a filter or a group, or we'd selected a search filter with my within those options there, that's where we can further select those to drill down even further. You've also got a, a tagging feature here as well. That's quite useful if you want to then go on further and uh, use that data for some kind of report or marketing activity. So there you are then, the universal search feature, very powerful search within uh, within Goldmine, a bit like a bit like the Go like a Google search within the Goldmine application, just going beyond what the um, contact search center can do on its own. So just to just to summarise, then the key benefits of using uh, this in Goldmine is that we are scanning and looking for contacts, activity, history, cases, opportunities, linked documents, data in linked documents, ensuring that no no stone is left unturned in your in your search for information. We've got real time results as you type it in. Search provides instant results. It's really really quick, um, um, and very clever in the way it's it's finding literally any information anywhere in Goldmine or linked related data. We've got that relevance ranking as well, intelligent ranking with that uh, with that score. Um, and the ability to tag records, tag, tagging those records for some later activity. Well, if you've got any questions about Universal Search or indeed any general questions about Goldmine, please pop those into the questions section. I'd be happy to try and answer those for you. Uh, right, so question from Andy. Um, how does Universal search. Um, how how does Universal search handle searching for information in custom fields we've created? Um, it will do it automatically for you, Andy. No, don't need to worry about that. Anything, literally any custom field in there. Uh, Karen, can Universal search be used to find information across multiple goldmine databases? Or is it limited to searching within a, a single database? Yes, yeah, so um, that's a good question. Uh, so Goldmine does allow you to create multiple databases. Um, in fact, there's almost, well, it's, it's only limited to the, your SQL limits, the number of databases you're creating. Um, in practice, or in, in our experience, most people would have one, but obviously there are some businesses that for whatever they're doing, complete different businesses or different operations, then um, you know you could you could set up multiple data, multiple databases. No, it's just going to do that single current database there, um, Karen. Um, Karen then is asking, I don't see universal search. So that's down to okay, so universal search setting up. Um, you really would 
be best consulting with wizard systems if you've never um, been into, say, the SQL uh, back end of Goldmine. But basically, the prerequisite, what you need to think about before setting up Universal Search, and Universal Search, Universal Search is part of Goldmine, all right? You get it. If you've got Goldmine, you get it anyway. It just needs setting up. Um, but it does require you to make sure you're on a, um, a compatible version of SQL Server, the database that's below Goldmine. Um, you need to turn on the full text engine um, of SQL, as it's called, and also the desktop search engine is installed as a couple of prerequisites from a Microsoft point of view. And then we enable that full text service running for universal search function. We configure um, the search within the control panel administrator administrative tools and services. Um, and then we've got to configure it within Goldmine and also just check the, the user preferences to make sure in that top left corner, when they click in that box, they're typing, they're, they're searching through the complete Goldmine database, not just, um, not just uh, uh, contacts. Right, um, more questions. Uh, Kevin, Unrelated day, but can we see all calls we've created on the calendar for a particular date? They seem to be hidden until I've completed some. Um, Kevin, that might be down to your options on your calendar. If you right click on your calendar, and I, th I think it's options, um, where you'll see different types of activities you're displaying. So what you want to see are phone calls, pretty straightforward. My, maybe at the moment, you're just displaying completed calls there, Kevin. So you just need to display pending. It's just a user option. Um, but on that, um, when you so when you're looking at phone calls on a calendar, it's all right. Um, but you might find it's quite a busy view. Typically, if you're using Goldmine for follow-up calls in a given day, you might have many many, many phone calls to do. So if you imagine on a sort of graphical calendar, it can get quite complicated to see all these calls. It's not, it's not Goldmine's fault, it's just the, the way you're doing it. So uh, maybe go back to um, a dashboard or the uh, activity list is another option there, Kevin. But certainly you, you can display on your calendar. Um, Danielle, can you quickly show how I change our search to be from contact search center to universal um yeah we'll contact you daniel uh, Dan, daniel about that uh, it's just very uh, it's just um a configuration option on the universal search uh, screen there okay i don't think there's any more questions um right well let me just uh, wrap things up um as of september 2024 um the latest version we've got for you is 2024.3. Make sure you're on a maintenance contract that you can get from Wizard Systems that allows you to access these updates when they become available. Uh, do you fancy a CRM review there uh, for someone like ourselves with, um, as I said earlier, many, many years experience of CRM and Goldmine generally to have a look at your system, how you're using it, how it's set up, and come up with some recommendations for improvements. It's all free. Um, please contact uh, any of us at Wizard Systems to arrange that. And if you're a Goldmine user, have you got any ideas for future topics for these Goldmine user sessions? Love to hear from you. Um, we have done uh, qu quite a few hundred uh, over the years. Uh, you'll see all of the previous ones up on our YouTube channel. Um, there's there's uh, uh, well over a couple of hundred videos up there on different topics around Goldmine, um, generally about so five, 10 minutes in duration. So, But if you've got any ideas for future topics, please drop us a line. Thanks very much to those of you on here live, you're watching recording. Uh, we'll catch up with you soon on the next Goldmine event. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.